Right. Now, before we get out of here, because I, I know you got shit to do, I definitely want to bring you back on the show because it's a lot more to touch on. Um, but I interviewed Bandman Kevo uh, a while ago. I don't know if you're familiar with who that is. Um, he wears a lot of jewelry. And in our interview, he was really putting me on game. I'm not really too familiar with with, with jewelry too much of the different type of diamonds. Um, but I interviewed him in Cookie Money, and they both were telling me how, like, in this day and age, the Moissanite or or Masonite type of diamonds are a thing now. And how jewelry, if you don't know, really know the jewelry game, it's a finesse. Do you agree with that? As far as if you don't know the jewelry game, it's a finesse. You know, I feel like in anything you don't know about, it's going to be a finesse. You know what I mean? Um, jewelry, I will tell you, like diamonds alone in the last year and a half, the price has gone up like over almost 50 percent, you know, in cost. Um, but as far as with this Mosinite stuff and, and with this, you know, CBD lab stuff, like I ain't going to lie, like, you know, that's what it's becoming now. You know what I mean? But the crazy thing for me is like, I kind of seen all this coming beforehand. And that's why, you know, my company, Done Right Company, since we started, we don't offer no Mosinite or no lab created stuff. We only offer natural. And, and the reason behind that was that before I was a jeweler, I was a client for so long and I witnessed so many people that bought lab stuff or Mosinite or fake, or you want to call it fake stuff. And they would buy it and when they get aired out, they'll just throw it on the jeweler. Like, oh, the jeweler did it. I ain't know. Mm. But, you know, you know, but it's like, bro, a lot of people wear fake shit. You know what I mean? I, I don't even want to call it fake because technically it's not fake. It's fake if you're telling them it's real. But a lot of people are wearing, you know, custom jewelry that isn't made of gold and diamonds a lot. And a lot of celebrities, people you never thought. And that's why I always tend to tell people it's a preference, bro. Like, look at like Chad Ocuchocinco, you know what I mean? It's a preference, bro. Like some people I know, bro, they'll spend their every dollar on some real jewelry and they'll be broke. You know what I mean? You know, we from Texas, you know, a lot of people, we all about big chains and everything and big cars and living in apartments. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's a preference, bro. Some people, like I said, will spend every dollar they got on some real stuff. And then you got somebody that got so much money that don't care about it, you know, but it's an investment. I will tell you, like, and not even speaking that as a jeweler, speaking it as a person with experience. I consider myself more of a jewelry enthusiast than I am a jeweler. Right. Um, I, I myself own about 2.5 million in personal jewelry of my own, you know, mm. and, and I'm not going to lie to you. Like, just like the, 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 my blue dolphin piece, you know what I mean? That, that a lot of people know for, yeah. you know, I got it made in 2008 and I paid 16 grand for that. Um, that same piece right now, if you want to make it, it's going to cost you at least 35,000. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in diamonds and jewelry, like for me, when I got into it, I was heavy in the streets and I was trying to find a way to stash my money without wasting it. So in case something go down, I can at least dump this off and jump back on. So, um, you know, jewelry's a preference, bro, but, uh, diamonds and gold is not a finesse. As you can see, gold, obviously it's, it's, it's a currency. It's better than diamond. Diamond is a luxury, you know, um, with diamond, when you buy it, you're going to pay the cost of it. And of course, when you sell it, you know, you lose because, uh, minus the labor and all that kind of stuff. Right. But, um, if you actually nowadays, if you do your research and you know what you're doing, it's an investment, bro. It's a smart investment. Definitely.